Welcome to Charts Today. My name is David Linton and today's edition for Monday the 31st of October comes to you from London. And we start with the dollar index as always. We're looking at this, this strong dollar here. Uh, weekly chart. Remember these are my long term, medium term and short term charts. Uh, and here we have a weekly, daily and 60 minute and a 1% point in figure chart, a half percent log scale point in figure chart and a 0.1% on the 60 minute chart. So this template allows me to quickly go through and get a, an overall view of what's going on and so we, we're focused very much on the short term because we look at these every day um, but it's watching out for any new changes that occur on the medium and long term charts as well but we are in, in a short term phase downtrend below the cloud so we're below the Ichimoku cloud which takes us to bearish and we do have a downside target 1.2 percent downside back this week looks like the dollar might just have a, a less of a good week we are in a phase where we're, we're below the cloud if we look at the uh, euro the reverse is true we're seeing euro strength uh, of long-term euro weakness but we're seeing euro strength at the moment this little recovery here shows up on the 60-minute chart as here so we are seeing a little bit of recovery no upside target yet on the 60-minute chart and we still have activated this downside target to parity on the short-term chart breaking through the June low so the picture is still bearish but at the moment we do have a little bit of respite we are pulling back from this move up that we saw on Friday, um, but at the moment that's uh, we are just in a bullish phase. The Japanese yen um, is actually not falling into that phase in on the dollar. Uh, the way to look at this is it's inverted so that uh, the dollar buys more yen. So this is about dollar strength here and we are just finding support on the cloud. So the, the yen is showing still weakness against the dollar. Uh, and we look at sterling, of course, the big story of recent months, uh, bearish, bearish, and still bearish below the cloud here on the 60 minutes. So it hasn't had that euro strength that we saw on Friday. We do have a new upside target. We need a move above 162.60, uh, say, for that to be activated. Um, but at the moment, we also have an activated downside target, so we'd favour that for the moment. Keep an eye on the one-minute chart um, through the day. If we look at the uh, euro uh, sterling rate, it's bearish here, so that's just, de again, demonstrating euro strength. Um, we look at the Swiss bearish as well so sterling is still looking bearish against most uh, against all currencies really on the Australian dollar it has actually come through just another proxy for what's going on so the Australian dollar is, is showing some weakness against sterling here although um, the long term and medium term pictures are still pretty bearish if we take a look at um, stock markets the US stock market it really struggled on on Friday. We did get as low as this 120 support sort of area, um, and we are below the cloud again. We do have quite a lot of downside targets here, uh, 2101, 2165, and even uh, 2017, 2087. A lot of downside targets, a lot of pressure on the market. U.S. election is creating a lot of uncertainty. Of course, we are coming through on the daily on the cloud. We're not yet through at all on the weekly. We did have a breach. Uh, earlier in the year where the price came through and the lagging line came through but at the moment we're just holding the cloud resistance but we are through on the price for the first time in a few months so looking a little bit more worrying this week I look at the Nasdaq only one downside target here but we are below the cloud as well um, and the Dow uh, is just holding its bullishness so the, the large caps just looking a little bit better but uh, again the price is just wandering through here as well if we go to the small caps just gives us a picture we are seeing here the small caps have actually been bearish for some time with the downside target as much as six percent so we are just seeing and the fact that we're making this lower uh, this characteristic not showing up in the other indices, this uh, this lower high versus last year on the Russell 2000 is a little bit worrying. Um, if we look at the futures this morning uh, trading uh, in London, we see here that uh, we do have bearish downside targets and uh, the same on the NASDAQ uh, e-mini again below the cloud and some downside targets. But currently the future is up about a third of a percent there. Looking at the FTSE, uh, the FTSE just really struggling to um, hold the 7,000 level bearish again this morning. Uh, so below the cloud here and we are just seeing um, that the the picture is just downside targets three and four percent well four percent clustering there so this one not yet activated but it is just showing us that uh, markets may not have such a good week 
uh, FTSE 250 also bearish below the cloud. Take a look at the DAX. DAX just struggling to break the lagging line through this weekly at the moment. That's why we look at these long term charts, just seeing the levels that are causing us some problems in the medium and short term. Um, and we, we are just wandering back into negative territory on the short term and a downside target that's activated of 3%. So it looks like a pullback for the moment uh, and just struggling to get through on this on this weekly chart. Nikkei overnight uh, is still bullish uh, in the short and medium term, bearish long term. So Asian markets not looking as bad. Um, very small sell-offs there. China as well, still holding that uh, that uh, bear, uh, bullish face. But the Hang Seng is making new lows and downside targets of around anywhere between 4 and 6%. That's clustering. So we are seeing um, some bearishness creeping in there. Uh, uh, the Indian market closed for uh, Diwali at the moment. Uh, and if we take a look at uh, the Australian market, we see here um, that we are bearish, although we had a little bit of a, a, a recovery um, overnight, but it's still a, a short-term bearish picture. Moving to commodities, we're looking at Brent, uh, 49.35, the price on Brent this morning. So we are back below this $50 level. This is the time of year we expect Brent to fall. It's just struggling on this weekly cloud. This is this is the, the, the long-term view. We are in a long-term downtrend, and we are making new lows here. Um, downside targets. We really need to wait for a transition through this weekly cloud before we could feel more confident about the 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 directional moves in uh, crude. And the same is true of WTI. Downside targets here of about 2%, so um, could go either way. Heating oil, not much uh, changed this morning. Um, bearish below the cloud. Downside targets um, as well, very much following Brent. If we look at nat gas, back above the $3 level on Friday, um, quite a jump there. So back into a bullish phase, finding support on the cloud here, and really looking very much like it's going to come through into a new long-term bullish phase. So big changes going on there in nat gas. Look, corn. Um, corn is just recovering again into a bullish phase here, but uh, bearish in the medium and, and long term. Soybeans, um, much the same picture, bullish in the long run, um, and just really just started coming through on the cloud here, so that's looking quite interesting as well. If we look at wheat, um, we see here above the cloud. Um, at the moment, just holding support here, coming through on the medium term, but the long term picture is still bearish with quite a lot of downside targets. So you're 30 30% 30, 30 downside on these tar charts here, so really quite key. Uh, coffee had a big week last week, that continues. We're still bullish here, bullish, bullish, bullish. Coffee into a new bullish phase, looking really, really good. And then if we look at uh, sugar, Bearish here, just below the cloud, um, really falling away here. Downside targets as much as 4%, um, although the, the long and medium term picture is bullish. Um, taking a look at gold, uh, gold this morning is uh, just down slightly, but we are in a new bullish phase in the cloud. New upside targets, another one kicking in here, 1298, 1296, 1285, about one and a half, two percent upside potential here on this chart, just still bearish below the cloud. We need to move above, back above this 1300 level to get into new bullish territory there. And if we look at uh, silver, much the same picture here as well. So that's quite key. Looking at copper, um, we see here this is bull in a bullish phase, just turning bullish on the daily as well, but bearish in the long run. No clear upside targets to play for, and resistance is playing on, a, on us here as well. Taking a look at um, US bonds, had a good week last week on the yield, 187, 188. We we nearly got to those levels, uh, the targets that are given there. Uh, we've got targets of 184 long term, 217, 213. These are the long term targets to play for. So we are seeing that kicking in um, in the, the, the rates. Flattening off a bit at the moment, and we do have a pullback of 182 here. If you're really tracking that, look at the one minute chart, um, which would be uh, uh, key as well. Uh, so just watching those um, bond prices. Um, it's uh, it's 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 key there. Looking at Apple, we um, have um, we've got a, a weekly cloud. We're back through, back into bearish territory on the 60-minute uh, chart. Downside target of six percent. So really quite choppy on Apple. If we look at Google, um, we see much the same picture. Um, where where um, 
bullish here, just holding this picture, uh, the short term, so not quite as bearish, but uh, just starting to come through on the cloud. Amazon had a terrible day on Friday after their uh, announcement. Big move back below the cloud, but we are above on the daily, so that in the medium and long term, it's just a retracement, um, but it'll be interesting to see if we hold this cloud. Um, it has had a very good run in recent months, so that's that's quite key too. And last of all, we look at Facebook. Facebook is the one chart with lots of upside targets in the long term and the medium term, but now we're just entering some choppy conditions here in the in the short term as well. So stock markets and stocks just generally looking not as good this uh, this week and today. Um, markets look like they might go all lower, and the dollar is just showing a little bit of new weakness. Crude. Um, also just showing some weakness. So a, qu a pretty mixed picture as we move into the election phase. That's it for today. Until tomorrow, happy charting. See you then.